Good morning, children. I'm Tanusha Vaidya, and I am going to tell you a story about a very famous personality. Okay? A.R. Rahman. Some of you might have heard. Some of you will know today who A.R. Rahman is. Okay? So now A.R. Rahman was born in Chennai, Madras, actually, Tamil Nadu. Earlier it was called Madras. He was born in Madras in the year 1967 on 6th of January. Okay, He was born into a musical family. What do you mean by musical family? His father was a music composer. He used to work for the Tamil and Malayalam films. He used to compose music. He used to make music. Rahman, as a kid, was very interested in music. It was one of his hobbies. Okay. He used to go to work with his father and learn how to work in the music industry. He learned a lot from his father. As a kid, he had also learned to play the piano. This is Rahman playing the piano. Such a small boy. He was not even 10 years old. He's very young. So he started learning different, different instruments. He could play the harmonium, the guitar, and of course, the piano. So all these instruments he had learned to play with the guidance of his father. Okay. But what happened, unfortunately, was when Rahman was nine years old, he lost his father. His father passed away. And that was a terrible blow to Rahman. His whole life was about music, about going with his father. He was very close to his father. And now when his father passed away, he did not know what to do. He was very young, hardly nine years old. right? So he did not know what to do. He was not sure whether he should learn music, he should pursue his hobby of learning music because his father, his teacher was no longer there. So he told his mother that he's going to give up music. He's going to stop learning music. He had to study. He had to be, he had to educate himself, be a good man. He had to be a successful person. He had to earn for his family. But his mother was a very strong woman. She knew how much Rahman enjoyed music. She knew that for Rahman, music was not just a hobby. It was his life. It is what it is something he had learned as for, for all his life from his father. If he gave up music, Rahman would have a very difficult time. So even when Rahman was telling his mother that he will not pursue music, he has to study, he has to be a successful person. He has to grow up and become very successful so that he can earn. His mother told him that he should not give up music. He should learn it along with his studies. He should not give up his dream of becoming a musician. Rahman was a very obedient child. He respected his mother. He respected his parents. His parents were his teachers, isn't it? So he listened to his mother and he pursued his music. What do you mean by pursued? Along with his studies, he started going to his father's friend named Master Dhanraj. At the age of 11, Rahman started going to his father's friend who was also a musician to learn what his father had taught him. So Rahman started learning music. He started playing more instruments and he started understanding music better. As he grew older, he also got into a college which was famous for music. It is a college which is famous throughout the world, the Trinity College of Music in London. He got admission there because he was so talented. He got admission on the basis of his talent on what and how he could compose music. So he went to London. All this while he was still studying. Went to London, 
he got his degree in western classical music and he came back and he started working with the indian composers in the indian film industry he started working with mus mus musicians in india and he made he gave music to many songs in many different languages not just hindi and he became a very famous musician of our times yes so this is rehman now and for all this we see him receiving an award right for all his work that he did in music the indian government honored him with a padma shri and a padma bhushan okay so this is rehman receiving the national award from dr apj abdul kalam i i am sure all of you know who dr apj abdul kalam is right so he started uh, he got this award from the most um respected person that is dr apj abdul kalam and after this rehman made more and more music he became more famous all his songs are very famous you can ask your parents they will help you uh, find the songs you will be able to listen to them ask them so why i chose to tell you the story is there are two very important lessons that we learn from rehman's life one always respect your parents always they always know what is right and wrong for you if rehman had not listened to his mother and pursued music he wouldn't be this famous today he wouldn't be the best in his field of music right and the second lesson that we learn is never ever give up your dreams all of us have to study right your students you have to study but never ever give up your dreams just because you're studying we can always find time for our hobbies always find time for our dreams and we should do that all right so keep that in mind i hope all of you pursue your hobby and are very successful there in studies as well as in what you are learning i know most of you are doing something in sports something in music dance singing um cricket football etc so keep doing that always follow your dreams keep your hobbies never give up and listen to your parents okay thank you very much i hope you enjoyed um the story that i shared with you about ar rehman i will see you soon thank you very much